Hey there guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a daddy project for my daughter and it's going to be building a curvy board. If you don't know what a curvy board is, don't worry, I didn't until a few days ago when my wife showed me, but apparently it's a curved piece of wood that a small child can kind of balance on and play on and just kind of mess with to help develop motor skills and functions and uh, things of that sort. So anyway, what I'm gonna to try to do is use some really cheap grade plywood that I got from Home Depot uh, this is eighth inch thick and it's been cut down for me uh, but it was four foot by eight foot and laminate all the pieces of plywood together around a form to make a board hopefully that's going to stay <laughs> in a curved shape so anyway give me a few minutes i'll see what i get uh, can get turned out and hopefully my daughter's going to like it the first step in this project is going to be building a curved form in which to mold my pieces around I'm using extra plywood I had for my daughter's bed project and just some other scraps that I had on hand. Once I got my curved shape figured out, uh, now I'm just adding some 2x4s and 2x3 scraps to give me something to uh, press the wood into as it's uh, being glued and as the glue's drying. Now that the mold is finished, now I'm just cutting the remaining plywood down into the final strips that I'm wanting. These are about 11 or so inches wide and about 32 to 33 inches long. And this is me just screwing around giving this uh, mold a weight test. To laminate the boards together, I'm using a large glue container and a plastic putty knife as a squeegee. This definitely took quite a bit more time than I thought, and I was a little bit concerned about the glue drying up. But as long as you work fast, it seems to work pretty well. To hold the pieces together, I'm using standard bar clamps and then ratchet straps in the middle to help smooth everything out. You'll notice a lot of glue is going to leak out once I start clamping these ratchet straps down. For the sides, I'm just using regular spring clamps just to make sure I don't have any open gaps. Okay, now that the clamps are off, let me show you what I'm working with and what I'm gonna do in the next phase. I'm gonna add two more laminations to this, but this is what it looks like with just the three strips of plywood uh, molded on the form. The one mistake I've made is I let glue get on the outside and inside of this, and in my effort to <laughs> clean up the glue, I kind of messed up the inside and outside a little bit. So basically what I'm gonna do is the next two laminations, I'm gonna put one on the inside, and one on the outside and do my best to keep them clean so that hopefully the final product will look a little bit nicer. So let me get this glued up and then we'll see kind of what it's gonna look like at the end. Once the sides were cut and the corners were trimmed, it was now time to just sand everything nice and smooth with quite a bit of emphasis uh, put on all of the corners and edges. 
And to give some accent to the board, I'm using a very light stain mixture down the middle of the inside and the middle of the backside to give the illusion that the board is actually three pieces of wood laminated together. And the final coat is going to be a little bit of Darbin Orvars, raw linseed oil, and beeswax polish. Your feet are really wide. Okay, now do it, mommy. Okay, do it back with Lauren. See if you can teeter kind back and forth. Ready? Walk away. Oh. how you rock. Nice. Can you stand on it? I hurt toe. Oh, you hurt your toe? Yes, I hurt toe. Oh. When I was a little baby, I said, I hurt my toe and I said, hurt toe. Oh, really? When you were a little girl? Yeah, when I was a little baby. Oh. Rock, rock. That's more fun. Just so, so you can see that. Oh, thank you. <laughs>